welcome. Today I figured I would make a character using the Tiny Dungeon 2nd Edition system. Uh, now keep in mind that the Tiny Dungeon system is designed so your character can be kept on a 3x5 card. So it doesn't take a lot of information. But using the core RPG with Fantasy Grounds, I made this uh, character sheet. And uh, we we'll use it to uh, create a character. Character we're going to create is a uh, it's going to be a Fae, which is the uh, it's the Tiny Dungeons version of the elf. They're tall and skinny, shorter than humans in this uh, in this system, but they uh, long hair and ears, live a long time like the woods. You're a normal elvish. Use bows. You're a normal elvish character. And they call them the Fey. And we're going to name him Sarfa. And he's Fey. Male. His age, no one quite knows. But he don't even know. Five foot five, hundred and thirty five pounds. So he's a skinny fella. He does not wear armor, so he'll have no armor here. He has no experience right now, and his hit points are six. That here first number in parentheses I use that to remind me of how many his total hit points this number won't change I use this as a temporary number which gets reduced or increased if his hit points change now he also has a racial trait which is bow mastery Now bow mastery means that he can use any manual bow as a mastered weapon. All of them. Uh, he's he is, and that's in addition to his proficiency in master that he gets to pick in race in his character creation. So he's mastered bows. All right, let's close this. So we need to pick three heritage traits for him. Since he's a bow user and an elf, let's make him also a marksman. Marksman will give him, if he uses a focus as one of his actions, then his next action will succeed on a three, four, five, or six instead of a four, five, or six. Let's also give him quick shot. Normally a bow requires, a normal bow requires one round to load, one round to fire, one action to load, one action to fire. This allows him to fire every action. He can reload and fire in one action. Imagine uh, Legolas from the Lord of the Rings or the Hobbit movies. Just firing one arrow after the other. That's a quick shot. And since he only has six hit points, let's go ahead and make him tough. Tough is going to give him two additional hit points. And he's going to heal. Uh, instead of a hit point every six hours when he's sleeping, he will uh, he'll, he'll heal a hit point every three hours. Eight. All right, and we'll go 
go ahead and that was his three traits. Now we get a weapon proficiency and a master weapon since he's already has bows as a uh, manual bows and he really has no desire to use mechanical bows. We'll let him get uh, we'll say his weapon proficiency is light weapons and he will have mastered the short sword time he uses a bow he will be advantaged regardless of what kind it is so we'll use this as his bow weapon skill <laughs> and the way I drug those dice is click and hold with the left mouse right click to add additional dice Let's see he also has marksman which doesn't need a roll, quick shot, which doesn't need a roll, and tough, which doesn't need a roll. So the only trait tests you'll need is those initiative here. So let's go ahead and remove these other two. All right, and he has a weapon, which is going to be his Short sword, which he's mastered, so for three. And like I said, instead of putting a bow under his weapon, we'll leave his trait, since he's there's no reason for him not to use a manual bow, which is always going to be advantage for him. But normally, I would put the bow under the weapon test. There's abilities. There's his main stats and his roles and these allow you to uh, say he used his short sword to make an attack and you can just double click that and automate he made a roll with critical which means he'd roll again so he'd do one hit now for the uh, the family trade and the family belief uh, the family trade is just basically a backstory. It's just a short backstory. Um, he's a tree herder turned adventurer. That basically tells me all I need to know about him. He's simple. He's an NPC. And then his uh, belief is just basically a quote kind of explains how he's going to be role played and it's just every living thing is special uh, except those that aren't there you go it means he likes most living things but there's some things he don't like He's going to be really caring to the things he likes and then have things he don't. Now we have a parcel which contains all the adventure kit stuff that new, new adventurers get. So we can drag that over into his items group and it'll automatically populate that. And each one of these items could be placed under the container of any container in the, uh, probably any item. Or you could probably put the rope, and I don't think it checks, but we could probably put the torch 
in the old flask if we wanted to. Yeah, so it don't it doesn't care. It just has to be nested through this here. But as you see it nests it under that container or whatever it is. Now we do need to give him a weapon. Uh, he was a light weapon. So our short sword. So we click that and drag it over. And he would also have a bow, which in his case would be a fey bow, because he's fey. And the fey bow is just a basic bow, but it it's just belongs to the fey people. High durability. And then a short sword. It's just a common short sword. And that, we need to get him a icon. Let's see. There we go. We just use his icon for his portrait since I don't have portraits. <clears throat> and there you go. That is a how easy it is to create a character using the uh, Tiny Dungeon toolset and Core RPG. And like I said, these are automated. You need to make tests, advantage test. Get your disadvantage test. Oh, success. You can roll initiative. A normal test. If you need to make a save throw. And then your other tests. And if you need to know what your abilities are, you can click these things and quickly see what they are. Uh, the last thing would be languages. Uh, he would know his A, and he would know common speak. Uh, probably three. And uh, he's not a scholar, so probably four. Mine go one to five. And then you can put appearance in here if you wanted to. And that's that's how easy it is. So I think next time maybe I'll do a spell caster just to show how to how the magic and the prestige traits work. Uh, but that'll do it for now. So until next time.